Tegu argentino, de mascota exótica a amenaza ecológica. Rodney Irwin feeding his Argentine segus. Rodney Irwin alimentando sus tegus argentinos. This is all meat that they can't serve as oh, meat for humans to eat. It's parts of the animals. There's, there's always certain parts that can't be used. And they grind it into this and save it for me. And it's, uh, it's got bone, a lot of calcium, just uh, a lot of good things for lizards that wouldn't be very appealing for humans. And I was feeding them, uh, I mix other foods with the, uh, with the meat just to get them a, a varied diet. And we're standing in an avocado grove right now. So avocado is one of the best uh, fruits on the planet in terms of, you know, uh, protein, uh, just a lot of good things in avocados, but I found out that you should not feed avocados to tegus. One of my clients brought that to my attention. I, I couldn't figure out why not avocados, because there's just so many good nutrients in an avocado. Turns out there's something in an avocado that binds the calcium and these guys need a lot of calcium. So when you feed them avocado, you've got to increase the amount of calcium that you're feeding on a regular basis. Normally these guys will always get uh, a reptile vitamin package and calcium. I mix it with the meat and that way you get tegus that look like this. If they do not have the right amount of calcium and vitamins, they'll develop uh, what they call metabolic bone disease and they just kind of go downhill, they become real skinny. Um, it's an ugly process.